either contrarian to everything oh. Kelly's offering them. We'll call the meeting to order. Join me in the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, before we go on any further, uh, I'd like to express our condolences on behalf of the board to Mr. Hemsey. Uh, Mr. Hemsey lost his mother a couple days ago. The funeral's going to be in a couple days, and uh, we're sorry to hear that. Sympathy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. It's always tough when you lose somebody that you loved and grew up with, I guess. Sure. Like, like I tell my mother, uh, as long as I can remember, she's always been there. Well, I guess that makes sense. So. So. Uh, continuing with our agenda, item C is public comments. Anybody wishing to address the board on something that's not in the agenda today, please come forward and identify yourself. Um, hi, I'm Karen Johnson Leitner, 15735 38th Street, Mayor, Minnesota. Um, I'm not representing the Carver County Attorney's Office. I'm not representing the Carver County Board. I'm not representing the Carver County staff. I am or Hollywood Township Board. I'm a relevant public watchdog. And the last time I was here, I actually had the new uh, Met Council, let's call it comp um, plan. And there's high concerns of what's going on. And I'm going to just jump back into solar. And I actually pulled out page 349, and that is where all the solar is being talked about on this comp plan. And it, it actually, last time I talked about it, I found information that was from November of 2008 uh, to Paul Moline, and it was talking about solar. That was the start of us losing control. I cannot believe that Commissioner Lynch and Commissioner Ishii would not have put red flags up after seeing all this CUPs coming in and um, seeing citizens overflowing the area. But they only had five minutes to talk. In some cases, they had more. But it was clear that the votes were like um, handled. Um, you may not say they were handled, but when three of the commissioners don't even have one solar conditional use permit in their area, uh, that's a problem. Everybody, it says right on the ordinance that it's countywide. It is not countywide. I'm here for those people that are suffering because of the fact of a conditional use permit probably being handled by the Met Council. Their staff, the three staff that I located, did not come to any of the meetings. I'm not sure if the county should have requested it, but somebody should have requested it. I'm going to be giving from 2014 the beginning of all the information that started. Lots of people involved. This Jason Davis, I think it is, says one of the problems with the Met Council is it doesn't include the government. Well, they're, they got 81 applications here on this report, and there's no Carver County representative at all these meetings that are attorneys, um, Met Council, um, even solar companies that are already in the trash. They're gone. And some of them have been in this building, and they get resold and resold. So I'm going to be handing that over to our attorney, Carver County attorney, Mark Metz. Then I'd like to say how this all started. This is with the radio tower. Right now I have a picture that will be coming up. But I don't even know if you guys even know what those antennas right now are doing um, out there. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's how it all started. I started with worried about health on a 100,000 watt cancer stick, as I called it. It was too short. The ordinances were changed. And the weird part about it is, this is like solar. You may be saying it's going to be OK. You, you may be saying to yourself, well, you know, they'll get, they'll get old of it. They'll stop coming to the meetings. Every risk you got, lightning, everything, all the stuff that's happening, disclosure. These people in District 4 and District 5 now, actually, if this Met Council thing goes through, they have to disclose on the real estate. Because at any point, they could have a solar garden next to them. The next reason I'm here is we're going to go back to the felony police reports. Becky Burns, Chris Nathan, Jim Burns, and Steve Burns put Karen and Al Leitner on, a many of them, felony police reports. Well, that is not, and they're friends of Commissioner Lynch. And we've had it with it. And now that the two major big, um, uh, it would be that the police department, the, the sheriff's department were working on, 
Now that that's solved, I have the police report which said, this case is closed, inactive. I will be reopen, uh, reopening the investigation. This case, should new information be discovered, I will, Karen Johnson Leitner, a public watchdog, be giving that information to the Sheriff's Department and also to our county attorney because it was an incentive to try to destroy us. And I'll tell you one thing, I have all the backup. So see you next time. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, you did mention the Met Council, and I know Carver County has taken an active role in trying to reform the Met Council. So. Well, the solar portion of the Met Council is really what I'm yeah, concerned well, I mean, with since not, January 2016. Now. That's fine, but just put it on record. Anybody else wish to speak to the board? Seeing none, we'll continue with the agenda. Item number two, the agenda review and adoption. Is there a Move. motion by Commissioner Workman? Seconded by Second. Commissioner Ishii to approve the uh, agenda review and adoption. Is there any discussion? All in favor of that motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Yep, you missed. Ooh, did I miss something? Yes, you did. Yes, okay. item number D. We missed item aye. 1D, a new employee introduction. Yep. I forgot to highlight that. Uh, this is, please come forward. Introduce yourself, Dan. All right. and Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the board. Uh, my name is uh, Dan McCormick. I'm the transition manager for the county, a traffic engineer as well. Glad to be here. I have the pleasure on behalf of the Public Works Division to introduce our, our first uh, new uh, senior transition planner, Angie Stenson. Um, she has a bachelor's degree from North Dakota, North Dakota State University and a master's in urban planning from uh, University of Illinois uh, Urbana-Champaign. So I, um, she's going to be doing general transition and planning work for us, assisting myself, the, the entire public works division, especially Lyndon Ravdent, our director, um, and a number of uh, multi, multiple kinds of functions. And now, uh, Angie, if you'd like to say Angie, words. welcome. Introduce and tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, Commissioners. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. A uh, little bit about myself, well, Dan gave some of my background. I previously have worked in Illinois and St. Cloud Area Planning Organization, and then um, just prior to this in Scott County uh, doing transportation planning. We won't hold that against you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Whereabouts do you live? Uh, right now I'm living in Bloomington. Uh, we can find a spot in Carver County. Okay, thank sure. you, thank you, yes. <laughs> Well, Appreciate thank you. That. And yep. As is our pleasure, we introduce, we shake hands around here. So. Perfect. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for the welcome. Nice to meet you. Are you a UND fan? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Yes. I thought it looked like it. Thank you very much. <coughs> Item number three, approve the minutes of the May 1st regular session. Move approval, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion by Commissioner Ishii, second by Commissioner Lynch. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number four, community announcements. Does anybody have something they'd like to share with the community? At this point, um, I'm going to call up uh, Mr. Darren Melke. He's the assistant public works director. He's got some important information that <coughs> instead of Commissioner Maluchnik and myself trying to explain, I figured I'd just have Darren explain. Highway 41 is going to have some major improvements, but it's going to be a mess. It's a, it's a mess now. Darren, explain to the public what's going on. Thank you, board chair, commissioners. Uh, thanks for having me here. Um, if you have not heard or noticed, uh, Highway 41 project got in. Uh, done a good start this week and really created some havoc yesterday with traffic. Um, the construction crews changed the uh, signal at Hunter Mark and 41 to a new temporary signal system. So that was shut down during the day yesterday. So it was on flashing red for a good chunk of the day. Um, unfortunately, that didn't go as planned as well. Um, but however, the, the project team is, is very much on top of things. They're, they're working with MnDOT as well, since that's actually their highway. They're working on some signal timing adjustments today, and they're going to do some incremental changes as the week goes on. Um, so it is going to be, it's definitely going to be painful, um, but they're going to try to make it as good, as good as they can at this point. So 
Darren, when are they going to shut 41 down completely? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, as I mentioned to the uh, board chair earlier today, um, the closure is anticipated to be the early to middle part of June. They're kind of looking at maybe just after the Chan Hassan School or Tasca Chan School District is out for the season. Um, so it'll be around June 11th. Uh, it'll be a 12 week closure for the summer from Hunter Mark north of Pioneer Trail. Um, we plan to come to the next board meeting on June 5th to give a little bit more of a presentation on that and what to expect for community impacts at that point as well. Um, I guess for the public, I would encourage you to check out our, our website that we have for the project. We're also on uh, other ways to follow us is on social media, Facebook and Twitter page. So we do have quite a bit of following already. Give us the website where people can find it. <coughs> if you can get to the Carver County websites, it's under our public works site. Otherwise, it's our usual Carver County address at the beginning. And that's Highway HWY 41 Project Jonathan. If you can get there, you can get to our project website. So. Um, lots of ways to connect. You can sign up for um, email updates through the project if you want to get your message that way. We also have a phone number just hotline just for the project as well. Um, we have a communications consultant that's actively monitoring calls or emails that do come in and are, are responding in a very prompt manner. Well, thank you very much. It's very good information, <coughs> and very timely. A lot of people use Highway 41, Hunter Mark, Pioneer, and that's going to be congested all summer. So get used to it. Take your time. Time. And it'll be nice when it's done. Yes, give them, give them some room to do their job. It'll Thank be great you idea. very much. Thank you. Yeah. Any other public announcements? We're not probably won't have another board meeting until <coughs> sometime in June. Um, just to remind everybody before then, Memorial Day. Take time. Thank the veterans. Thank all <coughs> those who have served uh, to make our country the great country that it is. And with that, we'll move on. Mr. To Chair, Commissioner. if I could, on June 2nd, we're going to have a, a cleanup day on Coney Island. So we'll be out there and we'll see us all uh, cleaning up Coney Island. It's a, it's a chance we've been waiting for for quite some time, and uh, we're going get, to get the project started. Is the public invited? As far as I know. And, we're, we're, should, and bring your work gloves. And boots. Where should they meet? Um, at this time, I'm not sure. Stay Sam, close to the website. Sam can tell us. Sam, you want to come up and tell everybody how to help clean up Coney Island? And it might be, for a lot of people, the only chance to get on the island for a while. Absolutely. Good afternoon, Mr. Board Chair, County Sam Commissioners. Sam is our Parks... Parks Supervisor, yes. Parks and, Parks and Recreation Supervisor, Supervisor now with the title change. But yes, uh, Coney Island cleanup. We're looking to continue on some great PR and build some public, continue to build some public excitement towards... Coney Island West becoming a place of recreation. Four cleanup initiatives, like Commissioner Lentz mentioned, June 2nd is one that we invited you all to, as well as other elected officials. There is members of the public signed up for that uh, day as well. And then we'll do three more going forward uh, into September 1, of which is already uh, booked up by a, a church group in Waconia. So they've already exclusively reserved one day uh, to come on out with their church members. So exciting times. Uh, it'll be a mix of information sharing, um, for the event that you've been invited to, uh, for, to engage with the public, get your hands dirty a little bit, and have a little bit of fun. So, looking where, forward to it. Where can they get information as to time and location? Absolutely. So, working through our park office is our best at our main main uh, phone line there, or online. All information is found in our social media as well. But registration happens through our park park office. So, thank yep. you very much. Very good. Any other public announcements? Very good. Uh, with that, we'll move on to item number five, the consent agenda. This time we have about 12 different items ranging from parks, pilot programs, to crack seal projects, joint powers agreements for airport road, agency agreements with the state of Minnesota, overlay, county overlay programs, uh, a bridge construction project in Candom Township, crisis intervention training, donations to Encore, uh, St. Peter's Lutheran Church Mayfest, uh, right-of-way acquisition, commissioner warrants, anything that should be pulled? If not, is there a motion to approve the consent? Move approval, Mr. Chair. Second. Motion by Commissioner Ishii, second by Commissioner Lynch to approve the consent. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And with that, we are going to go into closed session. Closed session this time will be to discuss the selling of a remainder of right-of-way acquisition related to 
CHAH County Road Highway Construction Project County Road 10. Mr. Chair, could I just clarify this? Lyndon uh, corrected this one for me. This one is located in Waconia, <coughs> right, Patrick? Not not Cologne, as it states in the agenda. Okay. So just to clarify for the record. Just for clarification. Yeah. So is there a motion to enter in the closed session pursuant Minnesota Statute 13D.05, subsection 3C1 through 3, to determine the asking price, to review confidential appraisal data, and to consider offers for the sale of the real property at 9580 Orchard Road? So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Commissioner Lynch, seconded by Commissioner Workman to go into closed session. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We are going into closed session.